a bagly summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. You haven't put me in the system, right? We're trying to keep this off the books. No worries, I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. You only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while, like no. My God, this place is a travesty. And the government is okay with this? Anyone here could disappear unnoticed. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Of course, because Mary Kelly has to stick her nose in everything. The vulture. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Get it out.
Badly. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh -uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Wow, you're right. Now shut it. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Brilliant.
CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. This is a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. J just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? They implanted him with something. We need to take a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. So why did they implant a microchip in Angel? Diagnostics? Biometrics? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Let's keep following. Maybe he got away. Fogger! Get him! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! Come on, Angel, you can make it! Get fucked up! We don't have a match yet, she's gonna kill us! No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's cheer him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. Damn. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I knew that microchip wasn't just a tracking device. They must have triggered it remotely. Whatever Mary Kelly is up to, she wants Angel alive. We need to find him. See what they did to him. And what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner.
me so sad. Easy there. This is where those Kelly goons brought Angel. Not filling me with optimism. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. and access that network, shall we? I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. Guess that's where we start, huh? Here we are. Let's class the place up. There we go.
My oh my, Deadbolt trumps technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Brill. you get over here will you well get over here Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. Oh, are you okay? He was about to kill you. You stopped him just in time. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Wait. I think I know you. You're Caitlin Lau, the police inspector, right? I saw your video logs. So you really went after Mary Kelly on your own? I was so brave. It wasn't always on my own. <laughs> Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. Not really. Our friend disappeared from the EPC. We followed his trail here. All those missing people. Thought they were going home. Disgusting. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. Gotta feel like shit. Hey, you should rest. Look, we'll send someone to escort you somewhere safe, all right? I'll go find Angel and I'll look for your files. You seem to really care about them. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. So we should work together, right? I mean, we're all going after Mary Kelly. We'll have a better shot if we join forces. <sighs> all right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and inspect Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And thanks for your help. I'm glad we're joining for There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Yeah, I don't think Mary Kelly is waiting for the donors to die. She doesn't strike me as the patient type. Oh, God. What has been done to them? Can you do a facial reconstruction, Bagley? I have a bad feeling about this. Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases.
Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a dead sec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day? Well done, you got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. Well, obviously. Caitlin Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Didn't think working with the feds was part of the dead tech lifestyle. But we gotta stop this Kelly twat, so we gotta do whatever it takes. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Send out a party invite, Bags. We need the team to go through these files and come up with a plan. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapon smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Dala Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. 
But there is one place she feels comfortable talking. The Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. But it didn't work. How can it be different this time? The police force is more corrupt than ever, especially with Albion taking over. Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office, an honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right, but however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. <laughs>